Hello everyone. Uh, for today's video tutorial, I'm gonna start over a new sensor that is AD5252, and uh, for that uh, we have to log into the website that is controleverything.com, and here we have to search on for this sensor as you can see on my screen. And let's see what we got for this sensor. And here it is. It's a digital potentiometer. It's a hundred K as you can see hundred thousand. Now these are some more prominent features of this potentiometer and the plus point is that you can purchase the sensor from here. I will be interfacing the potentiometer AD5252 with a particle photon and a particle code is required. So for that let's go to resource tab and here comes the particle code sample as you can see and you can download the code sample as a zip file from here right here and also you can have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. Now let's have a look over the hardware we need to set up and uh, let's proceed. Well coming to the hardware connection setup part, uh, the first thing we require which you are able to see on my screen is a particle photon. Now this here is an I2C sheet. It's available and can be purchased from the website controleverything.com and the reason we are using this shield is to make connections easier with other I2C devices. So for that what we require is to Gently place this particle photon over the I2C shield and make a connection just like that. Now to power up this particle photon what do we require is a micro USB cable which you can see on my screen and gently insert it over this power jack. The next part is to bring our potentiometer that is AD5252 and here it is and this here is a connecting cable. Now make the connection among the connecting cable and the sensor and make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same rule has to be applied for the I2C shield. Now we are done with the connections part. The next part is to provide the code. So let's have it. Well in the interfacing section uh, we need to get in to the github.com the website and after that we have to check for the repository that is control everything community. After that we have to go for the sensor that is AD5252 and here comes the particle code. But before moving to the code let's have a look over the instructions we need to follow and it says that we have to log into our particle photon and set up the device and the instructions are on this. As I open this link as you can see we have all the relevant information regarding commands, instructions, everything is there. Please note it down carefully and do the installation nicely and after that we have to download the code and we have to copy the entire code on the online ID and build.particle let me open it for you is the online ID where you have to create a new file we have to save it just like that and the last part but not the least we have to verify and flash the code on the particle photon and the code output will be displayed in the form of logs at dashboard and dashboard.particle a user logs is there where you can have the relevant output so this is how the instructions work now let's see how the code looks like and so particle code dot ino will be the extension file. Now in the code as you can notice we have included some of the header files, libraries, application dot h and spark wiring i2c dot h. We have defined the address of the sensor that is 0x2c. We have some variables created double variables as you can see in the void setup function we have set variables also and we have in the code initialized i2c communication as master and serial communication with baud rate equal to 9600. In the writing section part we are going to send instruction for potential channel 0 which is 0x01 and we are going to send for input resistance value that is 0x80. After that in the writing section we are going for second part which is for sending instruction for potential channel 1 0x03 and input resistance value 0x80. After this section part we are going for the reading part as you can see we are going to select the data register that is UX01 and from this very register we are requesting and reading one byte of data. After that we have the conversion of the data and we have used a formula which was clearly described in the data sheet for AD5252. Similarly we are going to select the data register 0x03 and from here we are requesting reading and converting the data for one byte. At the very end we have the output to be displayed on the to the screen onto the dashboard which is exactly the resistance channel 0 and resistance channel 1. So this is how a particle code looks like. Now the next step is to show the working. Now let's have a look over the working part and this thing 
Uh, we need to copy the entire code as you are able to see on my screen and here we need to open up the build terminal we have discussed earlier in the instructions part and here we need to create a new file as you are able to see on my screen and this is the name of the file and save it and then we have to verify and compile the code and after this we need to flash the code while flashing the code we have to check for the magenta flash which is on to the particle photon and the successful notification is right now here now to see the results we have to open up the dashboard terminal and here we go and we can have our result uh, onto the screen which means we have the results resistance for channel 0 and channel 1 resistance onto the screen and it's almost 5k and it is the resistance among the terminals W and A for the channel 0 and 1 and when I use a digital multimeter and when I measure the resistance across the terminals W and A for both the channels uh, we have the same value just like it and as you notice for channel 0 and for the channel 1 so this is how the sensor works now let's have a look over the applications and some of the features and benefits regarding this part the AD5252 is a dual channel I2C non-volatile memory digital control potentiometer with 256 positions this device performs the same electronic adjustment functions as mechanical potentiometers trimmers and variable resistors the part's versatile programmability allows multiple modes of operation including reading, writing access in the RD, AC and EE MEM registers, increment, decrement of resistance, resistance changes in plus minus 6 dB scales, wiper setting readback and extra EE MEM for storing user defined information. Due to these features is really applicable for a lot of applications like mechanical potentiometer replacement, LCD panel VCOM adjustment, white LED brightness adjustment, RF base station power amp bias control, programmable voltage to current conversion and a lot more to mention. Well, you can have this sensor and you can purchase it from controleverything.com and you can get the code from resource tab. From this site, you can download the code as a zip file. Also, you can get the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end, I would like to make it clear that if you have any doubt regarding any part of this sense or video, you can have your queries on control everything.com and you can post your comments on the community page on this website. For articles and blogs, you can have a look over on instructables.com. And to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can have a look over our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and had a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.